I'm Jambo Wakulima and welcome to the Kenyan Farmer. This is part 2 of the Drip Irrigation Basics video. I want to recommend that you watch part 1 video that describes the common pipes and fittings. Today I want to deal with drip line fittings. I am assuming you have already installed your irrigation tank. You have made the tank connections. You have started the main line, installed a water filter and laid your main lines according to your farm layout. I want also to assume that you have already added manure. I am a huge fan of farmyard manure and it has to be well composted. You have also incorporated the manure in the soil and made the planting beds. I think I will make a video on this someday about the bed dimensions and stuff. But today's video focuses on drip connections. But as usual, let me start at my desk. Drip lines are used to channel water from the main line to the individual plant in the field. This is a drip tape. It comes with embedded emitters, usually at constant spacing. Like 15 centimeters if you want to plant beans, 20 centimeters for vegetables like sukuma maybe and this one that is centimeters from this emitter to this one it's 30 centimeters drip lines are sold in one big a thousand meter roll at about 10 shillings per meter thereabout and this one has twin emitters can you see them good there are also some rigid tube like ones but not as common i find these ones to be more durable than the earlier type this one has one emitter I use these ones in landscaping for ornamental flowers. Now you wonder what if you want to plant trees with odd spacing like 5 meters or 6 meters? Well you can buy 16 millimeters HDPE line and then buy your own emitters or I should call them drippers and then fix them directly. Here I have two button emitters, red and green. How do you fix them? These are fixed on a 16 millimeter HDPE line. Just like that. This is a common irrigation system in large fruit tree orchards. I have already talked about these button drippers. They have different flow rates per hour and they are mostly color coded. Let's say green may be 4 liters per hour, red could be 2 liters per hour and so on and so forth. You buy them according to your crop water needs. You should consult manufacturer's manual about the specs. There are various ways of starting your drip line from the main line. These starters provide you with the option of tapping the water from the main line. Farmers can use either of these and more to achieve their purpose. And these are not as expensive. They can cost about 25 Kenya shillings a piece. You can even decide to use a mini valve as a starter. Although I would rather have the thin HDPE line to start before attaching the mini valve. Because if this valve breaks while still fixed on the main line, it's not as easy to replace without causing some damage. 
some farmers choose the direct method to cut cost. Minivalves provide you with the option of controlling irrigation on a specific bed. I think they are 70 shillings a piece. How do you connect two drip lines? Well, you can use a connector like this. I used to call them eye connectors. Other farmers call them joiners, while others also call them couplings. This is what they mean. These ones are a lock coupling. What you do in the field is that you get the ends of the drip tapes, insert it on the end of the connector, And after you're done, you ensure that you lock them. You end up with a quite reliable union. And that's what you wanted. And these are not as expensive. About 20 shillings a piece. Finally, I want to show you how to terminate a drip line. These are called end caps. There are many ways to terminate your drip line. How you use them is simple. You just fix the end of the drip line and then lock. Just like that. There are many ways to terminate drip lines. But for those farmers who want to look professional, I guess this works. So, how do you make a hole on the main line? Meet my friend, the driller. This is my tool of choice in making drip holes on the main line. And how you use it, you just manually drill the hole. By the way, it's not as cheap as it looks. I think a piece is around 700 to 800 Kenya shillings. Now, of course, you can improvise a metal tube and do the same. In fact, a farmer friend of mine uses the umbrella tip. I mean a hot umbrella tip to make the hole into the pipe. And it works. Now, I know there are maybe some of my viewers who are like, Hey, Kenyan boy, what's the diameter of the bit? Well, I'm glad you asked. Can you read the scale? I guess not. Let me try this way. Is this a better view now? I can't believe it. I guess my cheap camera phone has its own limits. The diameter is about 1.56 centimeters. So you just have to trust me on this one. After you have made the hole, you take the rubber starter. As you will find out, installing these fittings is simple, but it can turn out to be a real punishment on your fingers. Especially if you are installing many of them. In the field, I like using a piece of bar soap with some water to reduce the friction. Then, you can install your preferred starter. Let me see. This time, I will use a mini valve as a starter. Uh, some form of persuasion is of course necessary. And that's it. After which, you now connect your drip tape.
once it's in all the way lock the starter and tara there you go the drip tip will run the full length of the bed now it's not every time that the main line is at the same level as the bed assume your main line is buried in the soil and your bed is on a higher level and you want to connect the drip line at the bed level what do you do well you first install the rubber starter as usual and then you can use this kind of starter of course this starter will be buried in the soil in the end now you need a piece of 16 millimeter hdpe line i don't have one but let's assume this is the piece that you cut this will now act as my riser from the soil of course you can't start with a drip tip directly from the main line buried in the soil you need something rigid after which then you can then attach let's say a mini valve at this point you can now attach the drip tip at the bed level an old african man said that there are many ways of trapping a rat and the end justifies the means in this case i think i am done with the theory i hope you have learned something please remember to like share and subscribe you can also consider donating to my online work via the link on the description of this video. Thank you for watching and God bless you.